Welcome. In this video, we will set up your template border using AutoCAD. To start, open your AutoCAD application in your laptop. By default, you can view Start Drawing, and your previous files. Click Start Drawing. You will now see the AutoCAD drawing interface. Turn off the grids and let us set up the units. To set the units, type units on your keyboard, and hit enter. The unit dialog box will appear. Change type into decimal, precision into zero, and intersection scale into millimeters. Then click OK. You can also change the units, by clicking the A button, then drawing utilities, then units. The same dialog box will appear. Let us now set up our layout. Go to layout. Delete the existing V port, and let us start creating our template borders. To delete, click the V port line and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to layout tab, and right click, then click page setup manager. Make a new layout. Click new and rename the layout. Click OK. To save the plot into PDF file, change the printer plotter into AutoCAD PDF high quality print. Change the paper size into ANSI A11 by 8.5 inches. Notice a landscape preview of the paper. Set the plot area into layout and the plot scale unit into millimeter. Make sure the scale is 1 is to 1. Click OK. Click the modified layout, and set as current. Click close. The new paper layout will appear on your screen. The dotted rectangular line is the printable area of your plot. To zoom in, and out in your layout, use the scroll wheel of your mouse. To pen click and drag your mouse wheel. Let us now make the border template. Make a rectangular border inside the dotted line with 25 mm margin. To do that, make a reference line. Type L, then click enter. Click precisely at the edge of the paper. Then activate ortho and position your mouse downward. And give a dimension of 25 mm. Click enter. Do the same for the horizontal reference. Click enter. Repeat the procedure for the bottom reference line. Make a rectangle by typing rec on your keyboard and hit enter. Click on the endpoints of the reference line. We now have the outside border of our template. We can now delete the reference lines. To delete, select the lines by click and click and hit delete. Let us make the inside details of our template. Type rec. Click enter. Specify first point by clicking on the bottom edge of the border. Then specify dimension by typing D, then enter, specify the length by clicking the length of the outside border, then enter. To specify width type 25, then enter. Then left click after specifying the position. Create a square with 25 mm side using rectangle command on both ends of the border. To do that, type rec, enter, specify first point, type D, enter, type 25, enter, type again 25, then enter. Left click after specifying the position and, repeat the process.
create a rectangle with 60 by 25 dimension from the left square. and 70 by 25 dimension from the right square. Make a vertical line in the middle, and use offset command to offset 6.25 above and below the vertical line. To offset, typo, then hit enter. Or you can go to home tab and click the offset icon. Then click on the line you want to offset, and position your cursor perpendicular to the line. Then type the length of offset by 6.25, then click enter. Click on the line you want to offset, and click again outside the line, to set the direction of offset. Lastly, trim the unnecessary lines. To trim, type TR, then double enter. Then trim the lines accordingly. Click enter. Up next, 